I have a crazy idea. Kill 10,000 revenants without banking at all. And this will be insanely hard. My world record of 3,000 was recently broken by Torvesta, who did 3,333 revenants. And I'll aim to get this back in style. To do this, I will plan to kill 1,000 of every type of revenant, but the level 7 imp. With 10 different revenants, this totals to 10,000, with a wide contrast of difficulty between the revs. The hardest will be the dragon in the most active spot in the game, and the easiest will be the goblin, which most of you probably didn't even know existed. For a challenge this insane to be possible, I need to plan correctly. This is the inventory I decided on, and I'm bringing max gear with an insane 1.4 bill risk. Serp Helm is vital for this challenge because of its immunity to venom, which is also why I'm bringing a couple extra scales. Thankfully, Revenant's drop supply drops, however, I can't get the bruise back. Therefore, I need to make sure they use these as little as possible. This is the exact 28 items I plan to fill my looting bag with, and it's vital I do not mess this up. Starting on the hardest rev is the best idea I can do. I need to make sure I use as little bruise as possible here. This is my most insane challenge yet, and I need to think extremely far ahead, which is why I decided on bringing range. Range does mean that I will struggle against higher level revs like the dragon, but it is worth it in the future. The reason for this is because I won't be a range part at all, and I will take a lot of damage during these kills. But don't worry, I have some contingency plans. Crowbow specking does increase DPS, but the dragon ain't 100% spec for toxic staff. For one minute, the spec halves all melee damage. It's incredible for survivability. Oh, that's the first PK. He's flying in with the claws already. He's in a very weird setup. What am I actually going to do? I'm going to fight him because he doesn't seem that great and then escape by showing strength. I'm going to make him scared of me, basically. Oh, it's worked. He's running away. Perfect. I'm not going to do this with every PK. I'm going to pick my battles. This guy's got crystal. And that's kind of scary. The DPS on that bow is extremely good. I'm just going to try and go for the escape, but I do have a lot of food on the ground as well. If I splash this freeze, I'm going to have to start using bruise. Come on. Yes, I caught. And he missed a lot of ticks there for some reason. My inventory is not looking good right now, and this is where Operation Recovery comes in. It's a very simple two-step process. Just outside the cave is these moss giants. I'm going to blood barrage my HP back to 99. Now I'm going to kill these hellhounds just south of the dragon for a full inventory of food. This idea is actually perfect. I will need to kill 1k of these anyway. And if I go back to dragon when I've only got two combo food, I'm going to have to use so many brews when I get attacked. 116 HP with a full inventory of food, we're back in business. I'm starting to realise how hard this challenge will actually be. I've been attacked loads of times in the first hour, getting 103 kills. This means the dragon alone will take 10 hours. And that's only 1k kills out of the 10k. That's the first unique drop of 1 mil emblem. You may be thinking, this guy's not stackable, and you are right. Which is why I have to turn into cash in the emblem trading worlds. It took me like 5 minutes to find this guy, and thankfully I didn't run into anyone with a VLS. Hello, this looks like a big PK. This is a perfect time to freeze, come on. Yes, that's a good thing about Crystal, it's really bad mage defense. And if I actually prayed range there, it could have chanced me, but he didn't. I guess it's time to do Operation Recovery. I've just recovered a full inventory and I'm realizing how well it's going right now. I'm at 300 kills at the dragon and I've only used one dose of brew. That is perfect. Bro, this spot is so active. I've not even killed one since I came back. I'm obviously not going to show every single PK that attacks me, but there's scout bots and PKs everywhere. This is a struggle. He's trying to AGS me. I don't think he realizes I'm Staspect. And I caught the freeze as well. That's nice. Hello, 8 mil effigy. That is the second best emblem drop I can get. Trading this one in. And I think I've got a green cash stack. Yeah, I do. 10 mil. That is looking clean, that looting bag. I've been very diligent to make sure I pick up the correct things this time as well. So hopefully I don't mess it up. Oh, there's a scout bot. If you're wondering what I mean by scout bots, just watch in like a minute a PK will show up. It's made this challenge so much harder. There we go. What did I say? Oh, he's going for a Hail Mary. This would be a really nice time to catch a freeze. And I did as well. I don't actually mind if he seeds away. I can just run north. There's actually three of them that turned up after that as well. I'm not sure if all of them are scouted by him, but I'm guessing the first guy at least. This is not a great time for a PK to find me. I've only got three restores left. I'm nearly out of hard food. I need this freeze. Please, come on. Yes. Yes, I only had to brew once there. I'd even have to brew. I actually had the escape there. That was stupid. Holy fuck, I need Operation Recovery more than ever right now. Nah, I'm not having it. There's even a PK at my recovery spot. What? Oh, I caught the insta-freeze. Okay, I'm going to stop crying. I've recovered my food fully, but I think it's a good idea to go back to Dragon for that restore drop. I just hope nobody attacks me. Yes, I got a restore drop. Oh my god, I needed that. I'm actually more excited about that drop than the fucking 8 mil emblem I got before. We're at 500 Dragon KC and it literally took 6 hours, which is a lot longer than I expected. It's a war zone right now, the dragon. I've only used 2 brew doses, but if I can keep this up, that'll be massive. Ooh, a boss just spawned. Should I try it? I do have a little bit of food on the ground and I have an Ellie to flick. That is the worst timing for get a PK on you, but I really want the boss and he doesn't look scary. 
He's in normals. You might be thinking this was not worth it to risk, especially with PKs around. But again, this surge is massive. It increases my accuracy and damage by 15% for 30 minutes. And I need anything to get away from this dragon. I've finally done 1k kills and that activity was insane throughout. I've got 41.2 mil in a looting bag. That's actually really clean. The dragon in total took 11 hours to do and I'm very happy that I've only used two brew doses. I don't know how I've done that one. The next revenant I'm going to kill is a knight and this one's one of the easier locations because how close the room is. Plus this little obstacle in the middle makes getting freezes so much easier. I've done nearly 100 kills and I've not been attacked by a PK or once. This is so much more chill. I'm also snagging Torvetta's idea where I'm dragging them towards the stagnamite because it's so much easier to escape. This is why I brought the scales because this would not be sustainable to get 10k kills without it. I could have brought less scales though. No, I just put Venge Sacks in my fucking looting bag. I knew I'll mess it up. I needed a U seed. I just wouldn't get the drop. Oh, that's actually so tilting. I guess I just won't pick up U seeds. Oh, this guy's just hopping for me. That's the fourth time he's hit me now. He just stashed past me twice and I caught the insta freeze. Now he's just seeding away. There's no way he can seed long enough to get him frozen. I could just log out. If I do complete this challenge, I'll be giving away half of the loot in my Discord. So if you are interested in that, then please join my Discord down below. Oh, he's trying to rush me. That's just kind of a waste of food. I mean... I don't know what he expected there, really. He's saying he's new to PK and I want to kill him. He's largely praying anything right now. I think this might be worth to get the key. It's only one inventory spot and it might be a claw smite. I really don't want to off him. The guy I just killed has come back as I get a one month emblem and I do not think it's a claws PK. He will be mentioning it right now, surely. There might be still something decent in the key, but I don't think it's claws. I have to keep it though. There we go. That's the 1k night kills that just took under eight hours and I got four one mil emblem drops. We're at nearly 71 mil in the looting bag. This spot was actually pretty chill, but the next one is going to be interesting. This is what you call the quad spot. There is two demons and two cyclopses and the exact reason why I brought ranges for this. However, it's a very open room, so this will be a struggle while I try to escape, and it's relatively active. I love this. I'm knocking out two revenants at once, just sat in the middle prayer flick, and it is so quick. What the f- Dude, my in-game sounds aren't working. My headset's not working at all. How many times was he hitting me there? No, oh, I splashed the freeze. I've used a brew and a half. He's actually playing it quite well, to be fair to him. Please, RNG. Please. Yes. Yes. Wait, I clicked him. Okay, that was that was nice. I got away. I only used a brew and a half, but that's still quite bad. Operation recovery in full force right now. My inventory is looking like a fucking disaster. Nah. nah. I've just been caught walking down. That's actually incredibly unlucky. And he's got a bofa. This is fucking bad. And the Void Waker. What is this look? I get caught by a sword like this. is in fucking everything. I need to catch this freeze, please. Yes. I actually caught the freeze. I'm away. I have to pray mage. I can double it here though. I'm fine. Okay, I'm completely fine. Even if he hit a big age yesterday, he can't hit me afterwards. There we go. We've recovered fully and assessing the damage, I used 2.5 brews during that madness. And that is detrimental to this whole challenge. I need to pay attention. I need to play this a lot better. I got a bit complacent there. That's 1k demons and cyclops is done and it was incredibly quick with being just under 10 hours. 106 mil in the looting bag, that's actually sick with nearly 20 mil from each rev. That's such a good spot. After that potential disaster, I need a chill spot and I'm going to use the hellhounds. I can kill two of them while killing one pyrefiend, it's actually very efficient. Yes, finally. I actually got found here, which is very surprising. I had to use one dose of brew. Oh, four mil medallion. I think I only need the 60 mil relic and I've got all the emblem drops. That'd be cool. That's 1k hellhounds done, only taking seven hours whilst killing 536 pyre fiends. 128 mil in the looter bag after 5,500 revenants. We're over the 5k mark, which is actually really cool to see. This challenge is insanely hard and it's not even close to being over. The next spot I am not looking forward to. The next spot is Dark Beast. Like the dragon, it's an incredibly scary spot. There's an open space that is very active with PKs and I only have five brews left. I just gotta hope I get lucky. Oh, a very early freeze. The things you love to see. I mean, I should be running with the seeds, but <laughs> I guess he splashed. Anyway, I think it was a better idea to run with the seeds. Oh, bro, I just logged in and there's another PKer. Just sat in rows praying mage. I should be able to hit quite high. I'm going to try and spec it, actually. Fuck it. Oh, he teleported. PKers like that aren't a problem, but they are a bit annoying. 
Come on. Freeze. I misclicked. Okay, I got the freeze. That's nice. And he caught me back. I'm actually struggling right now. I've been in this fight for so long. It's not good at all. Finally. That was a long ass fight. I did a lot of damage back to him as well, which is good. You might be thinking, why didn't I finish off the Pyrefiends when I was at that other Hellhound spot? And this is exactly why. I can use these little guys to recover when I do run into problems at the Dark Beast. If you guys didn't know, only 21.1% of you guys that watch my videos are currently subscribed. So if you are enjoying this video, then please subscribe. I do have them two anglerfish I really want to pick up. Wait. Did a boss just spawn? A boss that is actually the worst time impossible. I can't really get a log here then, can I? When in doubt, do the dash and I've got the log out. He's probably fuming right now. It's honestly very active, but I feel like because it's a dangerous spot, I'm paying a lot more attention. Kind of like what I did at Dragon. That's 1k Dark Beast done and I'm incredibly happy. It only took 8 hours. I was always in combat with a rev, which is really nice. I also got 27 mil loot, which means I'm on 152 mil in the looting bag. 33 mil cash. Holy fuck, that looks clean. Except from the Venge Stacks, obviously. I've only got 450 Pyrefiends left, which should be incredibly quick. And I've come to this location because they're closer together. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. yeah, like <laughs> fucking... It's like... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the fuck? What's happening? Bro, look, look, look at this stream. I got double clawed. Like, he Venge and double clawed me. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. Oh, no, Joel. Oh, no. Wait, get attacked. I'm feed to you, feed, bro. Oh. <laughs> well then. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he didn't even bother. What? <laughs> 1k Pyrefiends done. And that was actually very quick. It only took two hours. This is the home stretch. There is 3k revs left. Two very easy ones in Hobgoblins and Goblins. And one relatively hard one with the Orcs. 1k Hobgoblins done. And as expected, I got attacked zero times. This is literally the corner of the fucking cave. It did take five and a half hours though, which is quite long. That's 1k goblins and it took four and a half hours, which is a lot longer than I expected and the loot wasn't that great. But now we've only got 1k kills left to go. The final 1k kills is here and it's at the Orcs. It's a very hard and active location. One thing I've got going for me though, a lot of the PKs will be in the normal spellbook, making it a lot easier to survive. I'm confident I can do this even with four and a half brews. Oh, Asian Relic, that's actually sick. That is the second best drop. And now I've completed all the emblem drops in these 10k kills. I've had every single one of them. That's sick to see. Look at that 16 mil cash tag. It's going to be a good looting bag. <laughs> no way. I got a fucking chain mace as well. That's actually perfect time. There's only 74 kills to go. I couldn't have asked for a better way to close out these final kills. It's also perfect to get near the end as it takes up an inventory spot. The final orc kill. That is 10,000 revenants without banking. Holy fuck. And these last 1k kills are also made 47.7 mil, which is insane. Let's go put the chain mace in the looting bag and let's check it. For sure, one of the hardest challenges I've ever done. We're taking 63 hours in total. I purposely haven't checked this one in over 3k kills and it's 219 mil. That's so much more than I expected. I didn't have a massive boost near the end as well. Oh, that's not bad. 3.5 mil. He had a beer ring with him. I will take that one. That was definitely worth it keeping in inventory. If you guys did enjoy this video, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.